Do you still listen to music on cassette tapes? Do you still connect to the internet with dial-up? No? Then why are you still using a data warehouse? The data warehouse had a great run, but it's outdated. It wasn't built for 90% of today's data. It can't handle modern use cases like machine learning. It's time for a new paradigm. The Databricks Lakehouse brings all your data together on one open platform so you can tackle every use case from BI to AI. Discover Lakehouse at databricks.com. It's not easy being the one everyone counts on to keep the facility running, no matter the weather or supply chain hiccup. But we get you Raymond in Buffalo and Maria in Miami, Jules in Minneapolis and Stan in central Indiana. Taking control of everything that's under your control. At Granger, we're here for you with experienced branch staff at over 250 locations so you get the product you're looking for. Call, click Granger.com or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Lights out, everybody. The coffin in Studio B. Gong, wind blows, narrator. This is the witching hour. Sound, dog howls over the wind, narrator. It is the hour when the dog howls. Sound, clock chimes, dog howls and barks, narrator. And he was let loose on a sleeping world. Sound, thunder, narrator. Want to hear about it? Then turn out your lights. Lights out. Gong, in silence. Ed. Uh-huh. What will you do if I won't? Fritz. Something very unpleasant, my dear chap. Ed. For example, Fritz. For example, it is quite possible I will kill you. Ed. It's hurls. You amaze me. Fritz. Oh, no, no. I assure you I'm quite serious. Ed. Impossible. Fritz. Not impossible at all. Ed, may I ask you how do you suppose to uh, end my life, shall I say? Fritz, I shall cut your throat neatly, and as the books have it, with you have it with dispatch. Ed chuckles. You've been reading books, then. Fritz, we are wasting time. What is the answer? Ed, the answer is the same as it's always been. Fritz, you refuse, then? Ed, I refuse, yes, Fritz. Very well, you've forced me to become a murderer. George, cut. Look, uh, I don't want to f- throw you up on his first reading, but uh, not so much is coming through in here. I don't know just how to say it, but it doesn't gel for some reason or another. Now let's think about these lines. Oh, let's let's hold it. Oh, hold it a minute, Fritz. What is the matter, George? Who is it? Me or Ed? George Filter. Well, I hate to throw you it up. His first meeting, but uh, Fritz, I think it was you. So it's wrong. Let's see the tack on the part. Of maybe you're throwing those lines away. But his sincerity, there's no menace in the part. You see what I mean? Well, look. Let, ah, let me come on out, Ed. After beat. Oh, hamming up again. Ah, uh, Fritz, Fritz. Okay, character. Let it alone. I have enough a trouble. Ed dryly to George. Look. You can act, honest, George. Fellow's got a card. George approaching. All right. Oh, let's get, let's can the funny stuff. Ed, we've got some work to do. I want you to just pay attention, if you don't mind. Ed, all right, George. Ah, look, Fritz, ah, Fritz, yeah? George, how do you feel on this thing? Fritz, I don't know. It's not, it's not a right. I don't want to do enough. I want to do enough for go to through. George, well, you don't sound convincing. You see my point, Fritz? Yeah. George, oh, you got any ideas how to right to, to do it? Fritz, no, wait a minute. What about a dialect? I do a little German, I could. George, German? Wait a minute. No, no, I don't think I've, I want any German on this thing. I hear too much of that. I'm a, some Austrian. No, that's, no, no. Too close to German. Fritz, I don't know. George, what's... How about French? Well, how's your French? Let's see how Frenchy, French, French is. Fritz reluctant. Oh, it is all right. It is all right. Uh, George, no, no, look, I don't want... I don't want to make him too defiant. See? Should be a kind of combination. 
couple of minutes in there. Quiet. But i got to believe the guy. Wake him. Mm, let's see. That's what. What's the word? Make him. Uh, Fritz Continental. Continental, George. That's it. Just not too much now. That's a whiff of it, okay? I know, Fritz, I know. Continental. Let me try. Yeah, right. George, well, try it now from the top. Huh? Let's go. Fred. Okay. Pause in character. And what will you do if I won't? Oh, sorry. And, okay, after a pause in the character. Ah, what will you do if I don't? Fritz Continental. Something very unpleasant, my dear chap. And, oh, for example, Fritz, for example, it is very possible I may will kill you. Ed, you amaze me. Fritz, I assure you, I am quite serious. George, okay, hold it. Fritz, how's it doing N- now? How's it sound, Ed? You're asking me, the director, George. Well, it sounds a lot better than it did before. You work into it. Yeah, well, look, uh, yeah, Fritz, I think I'll do it. Uh, what do you say? We put it on the mic and let's see if it sounds. Take the whole scene over. Fritz, how is it for is it how is it for age, George? George repeat treating to control room. Ah, oh, the age is okay. I want a little bit, little bit age, not too much age. Fritz, all right, just a little. George, just about right. Fritz, a little older. George, right on the nose and the way you had it. Fritz, all right. Sound controls sound, control room door. Ed yawns. Rehearsals, rehearsals. Well. Beats digging ditches for a living, I guess. Fritz, ah, does it? Ed, oh, so they tell me. Fritz, well, anyway, it's cold in here. Thank the Lord for air conditioning. Ed, I wish it was 9.30. George, okay, characters now. Uh, give me the offer uh, web number five now, will you? Ah, let's hear it again. Uh, for the top, Ed in character. And what will you do if you want, if I won't? Fritz, something very unpleasant, my dear chap. If, for example, Fritz, for example, it's quite possible I will kill you. Ed, you amaze me. Uh, Fritz, I assure you, I'm quite serious. Ed, impossible. Fritz, nothing is at all. Not impossible at all. Ed, may I ask you how you propose to end my life, shall I say? Fritz, I shall cut your throat neatly, as the books have it with dispatch. Ed, ah, you've been reading books then. Fritz, you uh, we are wasting time. What's the answer? Ed, the answer is the same as it's always been. Fritz, you refuse then? Ed, I refuse, yes. Fritz, very well. You forced me to become a murderer. George filter upset. Look, Fritz, you sound about as much as like a murderer as... Oh, I give up, Fritz. Well, for the love of Mike and George... What do you want me to do? Growl? George Filter. No, no, I want you to. I don't want you to growl, but I want you if you don't won't find it too too inconvenient. Right, like a little bit like a murderer. You know a murderer, a guy that uh, kills people. Fritz, yeah. And he wants you to. Ma- he wants you to make faces, Fritz. Fritz, ah, oh, shut up, George. Wait. Hmm. I'll come up. Come out there again. A sympathetic Fritz. How you doing, kid? Fritz is so courage. I give up. I don't know what the man wants. Sound control room door opens. George approaching. Now listen, sweetheart. You have the faintest idea how a guy acts when he's doing, going to kill somebody, have you? Fritz, no, but I have a hunch. I don't know about it in a minute. George, oh well. That'd be swell, because the way you're doing it now, a guy would think you were his brother or something. Fritz, oh, George. John George, now listen. Get through your fixed skull. We've got a show in a few minutes. We're going on the air. Radio, remember? You see, you're supposed to be a murderer. Fritz, I know, but I'm going to co- come a lot easier. You're not a grimy. George, oh, you can't take it, huh? Fritz, dismissive. Ah, oh, nuts. George, all right, well, let's try it again. again. Ah, take it from that line. Um, oh, the answer is the same as it has always been, Ed. Go on, will you? George, nearly all right. In character, the answer is the same as that. Oh, it has always been. Fritz, you will refuse, pardon me, in character. You will refuse that? Down, studio door opens. Torres, hey, George, Fritz, oh, what? Oh, for. Ed, well, what? George, well, what do you want? Horace, there's an old gent here that wants to see you. George, what? Does he? 
What does he want? Horace, I don't know. George. Well, tell him to go away. No, wait. Who is he? Horace, I don't know, talks an old gent over the following. What is it, you R- Fritz? How can I keep in character? And oh, I don't know. Sometimes I wonder. Horace. Oh, because he says he wants to see Ed, me, not you. Ed, who is it? Horace, he won't give his name. George, probably some guy that owe, you owe money to. Ed, you should talk. Calls Horace. Well, tell him, well, listen, we're right in the middle of rehearsal, George. Go ahead and talk to him, Ed. If he can smoke a cigarette or play, you tell winks. Ed scoffs. Oh, George, but listen, you tell him to make it snappy. We've got a show to get on. Ed, all right, all right, calls. Tell him to come in here, Horace. Horace. Go right in, mister. Salesman approaching. Why are there, they, there, there you are, Mr. Henley. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Ed, ah, oh, well, I don't believe it. I ever had. Salesman chuckles. Well, you don't mean me. Hey, well, I know you, Mr. Henley. Mr. Ed Henley, is it, sir? Yes, sir. George, you owes the old guy dough, all right. Fritz laughs. Ed, I'm afraid I don't know you, sir. Salesman. Ah, oh, come up. Oh, come up to show you my book. I think you'd like to have a look at it now while you have the chance, just in case you had any choice, Chuckles. Folks don't often have the choice, you know. A choice? Oh, choice of what, Salesman? Now let, look, now here, look at, let me show you the book. Sounds, get set book on table, so it's Salesman. Ah, I won't, I won't be a minute. Sound flits through the book, pages of the book, Salesman. I don't like to disturb your work, you know. Well, it got to be done, I guess. Now this one here, Ed. Oh, ye gods, coffins, Fritz. What? George coffins? Yeah, Ed. Look, it's a catalogue of coffins. Selma corrects him politely. Caskets. So, Ed, huh? Salesman. Yes, that's right. Yes, sir. The neatest line of caskets in this country. Handle nothing like, but the best. No, sir. No, looky here. This number A fourteen thirty six, isn't it? Yes, reads Ah, all grey silk, solid silver handles. And say, listen, what is this? Selman. Ah, this metal model A fifty four ninety nine. Mahogany. This. George. Oh, wait a minute, Mister. What's this all about, Selman? Why? I just figured Mister Henry kind of liked to pick out himself out a cough casket. George. Well, ah. Uh, who are you, salesman? Oh, so you brought out the book here to show him. I've got my tape measure right here in my pocket, Fritz. Ah, he's a rib, George. Somebody sent him up here. George, huh? Oh, yeah, but salesman. Oh, no, nobody sent me. I just thought Miss Henley. George, well, look, Mr. Henley's busy. We're rehearsing a radio show here. We've got just got a few minute, more minutes before we go on air. So you don't mind, salesman. I know, I know. We're rehearsing lights out. I know all about it. This and every Saturday. I like it. All about ghosts and corpses and things like that. Things. Yes, sir. Chuckles. Ha <laughs> ha. George, oh well. Well, that's fine, but we've got work to do now. Palesman. Well, well, i got to get right on out of here. Oh, just as soon as Mr. Henley makes up his mind. Now this A1436 that I was showing you. Hey, listen, mister. I don't want to buy a coffee. I've got no use for one. Do you hear, get me? Salesman, so did silver my handles. Ed, George, this guy is screwy. Salesman, oh no, I'm not. No, no, sir. Now wait, I've got some pictures here and the colours. If you like something, a little fancier. Now, just a minute. Now till I find it. Sound flat, flits through spot, pages of a book. George whispers, whispers, Fritz, Fritz whispers, yeah. George whispers, Go get Horace and have him get this old gent out of here. I think this guy's crazy, Fritz whispers. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. George, I missed that. Did you, uh, somebody send you here to see Mr. C. Ed Henley? Salesman, send me? No, sir, I told you. I thought it made mine uh, up on my own. Now, this is um, 6782 with a bronze plate on top. How do you like that? Pretty nifty, isn't it? Ah, yes, sir. Hey, listen, I told you, I don't want a coffin. I have absolutely, salesman. Oh, you can have it with a solid silver plate. If you like that better. George, uh, if I were you, Ed, 
I'll get that one with a silver plate. Ed, huh? Huh? Yes, yeah, I'd rather have that one. The silver plate. Hmm? That's the one, all right. It's for seven. Well, the H6782. The solid silver plate. Yes, sir. Well, that's all I wanted to no. know. Yes, sir. That's what I come up here for. Sam picks up book. Seven. Well, thank you kindly, Mr. Henley. I think you'll find it very satisfactory. Ed, I sure I will. Seven. Oh, thank you, sir. I'm going now. <coughs> so, so, you never, thank you very so much. Sorry for the rap, rap, to interrupt you. Doing well, well. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. So, good evening. Goodbye, gentlemen. Thank you very much, Miss Henley. Sound, so, so the door opens and closes. George, well, I wonder who, what goes to that guy? Ed, what, I, whose idea was that? Sound, door opens. How it fits in here, Fred, Harris. George, huh? What, it, it, it's all right, uh, uh, Fritz. He's gone now. Fritz, what? George, you didn't need you, Forrest. Forrest, huh? Fritz, where'd he go? George, well, he just went out the door a minute ago. Did you see him? Fritz, no. George, you must, you must have went the other way. George, you went out the door right there. Horace, huh? That's funny. We didn't see him. Hey, listen, Horace. Was that, was that your idea, Horace? Mine? Gosh, no, Fritz. Hey! Snap his fingers. I know I was one of the announcers. Where's crack- it was one of the announcers. Why is cracking guys? Hey, I don't think it was. So, so funny myself. Not at this time at night with nobody else in the whole place, Fritz. How do you get rid of him, Ed? George, uh, the old guy was showing us a coffin, after coffin. She said, Ed, you buy number 60, H6783A. Ed with a silver, solid silver plate. Fritz and Horace laugh. George, so he said, okay, and scrammed. Leave it to me to handle the screwy guys. We're experienced enough producing shows around here. Ed, huh? Fritz, thank you, dear. Horace, your birds want me a more? George, ah, oh, no, Horace, no, oh, thanks. Ah, have you seen old Joe's coffee cellar again? No, tell him we're not in the market. Now, come on, let's get to work, Ed. All right, Fritz, yeah, it's about time. Ed, what, where do we start? George, oh, they're on, oh, they're on page six, nine, five. The answer is the same, and now someone, you know. Ed, all right. Character, the answer's the same. It has always been. Fritz, you refuse then? Huh? Ed, I refuse, yes. Fritz, bring, Fritz can break this. Um, I get the next, that next time in character. Very well, you'll force me to become a murderer. George Ryan interrupts. No, you force me to become a murderer. Fritz in character. You force me to become a murderer. George inhales unhappily. Go on. Fritz, break character. I don't know. Ed continues stream in character. You know the penalty for murder is this country? Fritz chuckles. Ed, put down that knife. Fritz, you had your last chance, chuckles. Ed, no, no, don't kill me. Fritz, I warned you. Ed, don't, no, don't, no, no. Fritz, I warned you. You must now listen to me. But you will not listen to me. Ed, help, help. Sound struggle, Grant grass. George, cut, cut, cut. Ed, now what? George, now listen, huh? You have got to plant that. It takes a lot of ingredients to fix or build a car, like cooking, but without the frozen dinner, easy way out. eBay Motors has 122 million parts. It's always the right fitment, so you can follow any recipe to a T. Whether it's a vintage Italian coupe that's classic like grandma's meatballs or a German luxury car that's as complicated as Oma's Rouladen, to cook up something great in the garage, use the eBay Motors app or visit ebaymotors.com. Let's ride. Nice somehow. Fritz, oh, Cody smokes, George. I can't say I don't. I know about how to stab you with this with a revulsive knife, can I? George, oh, well, what's the trouble with writers? Right, no imagination. Let me see now. Ed, I can say he dropped the knife again. George, no, no, let me think. Fritz, after Paul's click, tick, 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 tick. George, tick, shut up. Fritz, sorry. George, ah, oh, I got it. Oh, ah, oh, look, why do no sound effects guys have to go on vocations? Why do sound effects guys have to go on vocations? There's a knife, and there was there someplace. Fritz, I don't know. I have look. I'd, I'd look over here. Let's see. Sound pokes for the sound, pokes through sound effects equipment. Fritz from from off. Yeah, yeah. Here's one. George, well, what kind is it? 
Fritz, fuck it, I think. I just dropped it in my pocket, too. I've been wanting a knife like this. Joe, well, let's see it. Fritz, aha, I got ten rib, I got ten dibs on it. George, well now, look, you hold it up close to the microphone and open it. Make a click and go to the control room and listen. Fritz, mock British accent. Very well, awesome. Ed, I probably sound like, it probably sound like a door opening. Sound, control room, door opens. Fritz, so what? I am more than, I am more than a door opening gag. We get, we got sounds like. George filter. All right, uh, let's hear it now. Open it up. Knife opens. George filter. No, no, not so loud. Try it again. Knife opens. George filter. Okay, now, um, uh, Fritz, you got the, you're affecting it just like you start to struggle. Give the, give the cue, Ed. Ed, what? Oh, no, what? No, help, help. Work business. George, yes, yes. Ed in character. No, no, help, help. Fritz chuckles. Knife opens. Fritz. You not listen to me, sir? Down, struggle, grunts, grasps, jaws, filter, impatient. Stab him, stab him, Fritz. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sound, struggle, grunts, grasps, pulls, jaws, filter. You better fall down on Floyd. I sound better. Fred, why is it I always have to be, do the falls? Jaws, go on, go on, Ed. Oh, nuts. Sound, body falls. Ed for the floor, okay. Jaws, filter, okay now. How are we going to ring that gong? I didn't see why we can't get some help on this show. Fritz, why don't you get Horace? George, filter. That's an idea. I'll go, I'll go get him. Ed yawns. Um, gosh, I'm tired. I was here at nine in the morning for an audition. I haven't even had time to have any, get any dinner. Fritz, actors. The other witch. Ed says you. Why says you who are supposed to... Well, who did you suppose sent the ditty old bird up here? If it's, I don't know. Lots of old jokey, funny jokers around this shop. And well, it was a good gag for this show, I guess. I don't suppose it was so funny for the old gent when he finds out it was a gag. Fritz, yeah, I can't imagine it. Very good racket. Running around peddling coffins. Ed, I never knew that they peddled coffins that way. Fritz, never did, did you deny. Sound studio, studio opens, to opens, Harris. I'll protest to George. I was reading, Ed refers to George, ironic, the genius. Fritz, yeah. George approaching. You have to do plenty of time to catch up with your reading after the show over. I want you to sock that gong. Ed, all you're going to do is take the little club and clout the gong when George points to you, Horace. Fritz, if George points at you, Horace. George, listen, who's producing the show? Ed, I sometimes wonder. Horace, ah, where's the stick to hit it with? Fritz, you're practically staying on it. Horace, ah, huh? Oh, George, all right now. Look, I'll go to the control room and you guys go on, go into the fight. Now watch me, Horace. When I find you, stop that goal. Horace, okay. Fritz, oh, George, listen, to, do we have to go for the whole thing again? My throat. George, no, no, just a struggle part. Now wait till I get in. Sound control door opens. Ed, encouraging. Hit it. Good back, Horace. Horace, the chuckle. I moves at the beast showbiz. Okay, George, filter. Okay, struggle. Sh- sound struggles, grunts and grass. Body falls of pools. George, filter. Well, pay attention, dummy. Will you hit that goal? Joyce, oh, oh. Sound hits gone poorly. Horace, excuse me. I was watching Ed and Fritz. George filter. Well, look, you watch me from now on. I'll give you the cues, and you do do them. You got it. Oh, it's okay. George filter. Go ahead. Struggle. Sound. Struggle. Grunts. Grafts. Body falls. Over. Well, hit gong. Oh, it's okay. George filter. Okay. Now, what do you? What? Huh? Now, what do you? Do it just like that on the air. You got. You got it. Oh, it's okay. Sound distant phone rings. Horace, I need a, I've got to go, George. The phone's ringing in the lobby. George, filter. Well, hurry up. We're probably on air. Horace, leaving it. Leave it, huh? Ed, oh, I wish I had a cigarette, George. Filter, no smoking in studios. Ed, speak, speak when spoken to. I was talking to Fritz. George, oh, well. I thought, oh, well. There's still no smoking in studios, Fritz. Oh, bother. Want to get something to eat off the show, Ed? Ed, no, not me. I've got to be dead. 
Fritz, I'm dra- dragging at too. I'm going sailing with Jake tomorrow. Ed, ah, yeah. Fritz, yeah, yawns. Sound till the door opens. Forrest, okay, George, I'm back. George filter, well, look, come on. Will you come on? Horace approaching. Hey, you know what? who that was? Fritz, sure. Somebody wanting to know what type Fred Warren's on. Horace insulted. No, no, it wasn't. George, filter. Come on, will you? Can, can I guess he came? Let's go, Horace. It was this old coffin guy. He wanted to know. Miss Helen wanted a silver or bronze plate with his coffin. Fritz, what did you tell him? Horace, I silver. I said nothing cheap about Mr. Henley. I said laughs. Fritz, woohoo! And listen, you, you ain't all the kid about that old guy like that. He's just a poor, harmless old bird. Besides, the first thing you know, someone will be knocking on my door, living in a coffin, collecting money for it. Fritz, trying to collect, you mean? George, now listen, you lugs. If you want to play comedy, put the bite on Don McNeil, will you? You're wasting your time over this side. Now, let's go to work. Now, if that old guy calls again, you tell him to go jump in the lake. Now, come on. Look at page 10. We won't have the time to take it to dress. Let it, let it in dress. Top of the page. I want you uh, running footsteps. All three of you. Cross the studio floor. Up the stair slopes. You stop and run back then. You got it? On my cue, sound, hurried footsteps, cross floor, upstairs, run, stop, run back down. George filter, okay, hurry up on now. Now, take the knock on the door, footsteps coming in, bottom page is 11. You do the knock, Ed, hurry as you open the door, and Fritz, you do the footsteps. You got it? On my cue, knock, 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 door open, footsteps, George filter, okay, keep it that way. She's gonna, she's coming right up now, Fritz. Ah, you go, you do the wind machine. Fritz, right, right, George, George. Go to Ed. You do the chimes, Ed, okay. Horace, go to Horace, you suck that gong. Horace, right off, right, George, George, go to, on the toes now, at my cue, Fritz. Quiet, everyone, five seconds later, after a few seconds, pause. Lights out, everybody. Sounds gone, wind blows. Narrator, this is the witching hammer. Sound, dog howls in the wind. Narrator, it's time. It is the hour when the dog howl. Sound, truck chimes, dog howls and barks. Narrator, the evil is let loose on a sleeping world. Sound, thunder. Narrator, want to hear about it? Then turn out your lights. Sound noises out. Gone. Knock at the door, footsteps, door opens. Fritz, ah, good evening, my dear friend. Ed, good evening, Doctor. Fritz, won't you come in? Ed, thank you. Sound door, door closes. Fritz, now, here, let me take your coat and hat. Ed, ah, uh, certainly. Uh, here you are, Doctor. Fritz, well, won't you come in and sit down? So the closet door opens. Ed, thank you, Fritz. Well, Ed is taken care of. Fritz, really? Ed, quite. Fritz, you are the proof? Ed, well... Fritz, of course you realise, my dear friend, I cannot expect to carry out my own little arrangement. This I proof. Ed, yes, I'm reasonably sure that. Ed, and so? Ed, there's a hat. Crumbled on the left hand pocket. My overcoat. Fritz, a hat? Ed, his hat. I think I'll find that is a bullet hole through the crown, and there's a, several blood stains. Fritz, ah, fine. You don't mind if I look for myself? Ed, oh, of course not. That's only, that's why I bought it, you see, Fritz. Yes, 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 sound. Door closet opens, Fritz, from off. Oh, apparently a very neat job. Sound, closet door closes, Ed. I specialise in neat jobs, Doctor. Fritz chuckles. You do your mind telling me how it was done? Ed, not at all. I waited for him in the doorway of his house. Cold, too, tonight. Fritz, hmm. Ed, he left his car on the gate and walked to the house. Fritz, hmm. He, Ed, he planned on that. He planned that, remember? Fritz, yes, yes, yes. Ed, and when he came close, I shot him, Fritz. Ah, oh, clicks his tongue, ironically. So noisy. Fred, there was a silence on the revolver. Fritz, ah, thoughtful you. Ed, always thoughtful, Doctor. Fritz chuckles, excellent. Ed, I even stepped close enough to him to shore powder burns. Fritz, better and better. Ed, and the revolver. Is it 
there without the silence of two to make it look like a suicide too. Fritz, I congratulate you, you, my dear friend. Ed, thank you. I'm conscientious. Fritz, you are conscientious enough to remember what I asked you to bring? Ed, yes, quite. Fritz, why I have it? Ed, I think not. Ed, what? Fritz, what will you say? Ed, I came here tonight merely to thank you, Doctor, for you, your cooperation. I find myself a richer man. Fritz, I hope you are joking, my friend. Ed, not at all. Fritz, you don't want to give me the, pu- the packet of jewels? <coughs> Ed, I couldn't have put it more neatly myself, Doctor. Fritz, ah, I see you have not forgotten that I paid you some money to perform this service for me. Ed, five hundred dollars. Fritz, that is correct. Ed, that is not as why I'm here. Fritz, I'm afraid I don't understand. Ed, to return the five hundred dollars, you see, Doctor, I decided to keep the jewels instead. Fritz, I see, Chuckles, would you care for a drink? Ed, brandy, perhaps. Fritz, if you like. Fritz treats and mixes his drink. Fritz, water? Ah, thank you, Snow. Sounds mixes his drinks. Fritz, mmm, your health. Ed, don't mind, Doctor. Don't those are strange glasses, Fritz, Chuckles. You are a remarkably suspicious man. Ed, I have to be, if you please, Fritz. Oh, quite sound. Stranger drinks. Doctor smashes glass on floor. Ed amused. I thought so, Doctor. Well, to our good health. Drinks and sales, and then I'll be going. If you don't, if I, you don't mind, Fritz. Are you? Must you go? Really? Fritz, yes. We are. There, here you are. Five hundred dollars. Fritz, yes. Ed, yes. Here are your five hundred dollars, Fritz. My offer is still good. Ed, your offer? Fritz, five hundred dollars for eliminating this man and bringing me the drawers for the pocket. Ed, oh, I'm sorry not to be able to set your offer, Doctor. I made other arrangements, you see. Fritz, may I point out you left your revolver at your friend's side? Ed, may I point out it's extremely possible that I have another? Fritz, possible? Ed, probable. Fritz, ah, shall we have another drink? Ed, may I pour? Fritz chuckles, if you like. So I mix his drinks. Ed, there. Fritz, that's enough, thank you. Now, shall we discuss this further? Ed, I'm afraid you're very little discuss, Doctor. If you don't mind, I would. No, no, there's nothing to discuss. I'm grateful for you, my dear doctor, for putting me in the way of earning a very comfortable sum that these jewels will bring. I make regret of right to you for your superstitiality. I really must go, Fritz. Oh, I beg you not to let, let me point out that a gentleman of your reputation might have some difficulty in disposing of the jewels. And there are ways, Fritz. Would it be not be greater rich? Still safer for you to take five hundred dollars with no other risk than to keep the jewels and run the risk of hanging? Ed, I, though I will take the risk besides. The yeah, the present does happen to me. In the course of disposing of the jewels, I can always remind my captors of the part that you played in this little affair, you see. Fritz, I'm afraid you will still have a little very difficult, difficult proving that. Ed, ah, uh, perhaps by run the risk. Good night, Doctor. Doc, Fritz, don't hurry. I beg of you. I should believe. Just like to have any person unhappening. And you forget I have a revolver, Doctor. Fritz, that is a lie. Ed, I don't have a take. I won't take a chance if I were you, Doctor. Fritz, I'm not taking a chance. I know you have no revolver. Ed, really? Fritz, really? Ed, interesting. How? Fritz, a very simple process of deduction. There's none in your overcoat. I could tell by the weight of it. Ed, ah, but there is. Fritz, ah, thank you. I was rather certain that, that it, it was there. And you, Fritz, and so I took the liberty of locking your overcoat closet when I got up to inspect my friend's hat. Checkmate, my dear friend. Ed, still, mate, I think I still have the jewels. Fritz, I warn you for the last time. I give, give them to me. Ed, I'm sorry. Fritz, it'd be a great deal better for you if you would, you know. Ed, what will you do if we don't, won't? Fritz, something very unpleasant, my dear fellow. For example, Fritz, it's quite possible I will kill you. Ed, it sells you amaze me. Fritz, I assure you I am quite serious. Ed, impossible. Fritz, it is not impossible at all. 
And may I ask you how you propose to uh, in my life, shall I say? Fritz, I shall cut your throat neatly, as the books have it with dispatchment. It chuckles. You've been reading books, then? Fritz, come on, we are wasting time. What's the matter? What's the answer? And the answer is the same as it's always been. Fritz, you refuse, then? And I refuse, yes. Fritz, very well. Very well, you'll force me to become a murderer. Ed, do you know the penalty for murder? This country doctor, Fritz chuckles. Ed, put down that knife, Fritz. You had your last chance. Ed, no, 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 don't kill me. Fritz, I warned you. Ed, no, don't, no, no, Fritz, I warned you. You will not listen to me. Ed, help, help, help. Sound struggle, grunts, grass, Ed, screaming. Fritz, Ed, Ed. Ed chokes, moans, you, meds, Ed. Fritz, Ed. Ed, you stabbed me. Fritz moans. Fritz, oh my God, hurry, sorry, look. The knife flipped. I didn't mean it. I cut him. I didn't mean to cut him. Ed moans. Fritz, I cut him. I sound. Body falls to the floor. Horace, blood. You really killed him, Fritz. Fritz, horrified. Oh, no, no, I didn't. Salesman approaching. Gentlemen, I got here in time, didn't I? Yes, sir. Model H6782 with silver plate for Mr. Henley. Fritz, no, weeps Salesman. Yes, sir, just bring it right in, boys. Miss Henley's all ready for the chuckles. Sound gong. You've been heard the coffin in Studio B. Today's customers expect fast, personalized support. Intercom has the tools you need to deliver just that, efficiently, at any scale. Supercharge your team's productivity and make your customers super happy with Intercom. Learn more at intercom.com slash support. You coming to bed, hon? Yep, honey, I'll be right there. Just got to turn out the light. Ow! 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 Ah! Some things never change. Like your kids always leaving tiny toys on the floor for you to step on. And Geico saving folks lots of money on their car insurance. Sweetie, I think I left the downstairs light on. Please don't make me go. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more.